Hello everyone, welcome to today's video and today I want to do a different kind of uh, eye look which will be very much summer inspired. From the very beginning of summer, I wanted to do a summer inspired makeup but it wasn't really happening um, and today I'm here, I will be doing that. You can see that already I have done uh, my face makeup, I didn't want to waste my time on that in front of the camera but I, I'm really looking forward to share that eye makeup with you so today we are focusing on eyes and today I want to use my uh, Jackie Aina ABH palette which I didn't use for such a long time last time that I remember I used this palette in front of the camera in last autumn and then I did a cranberry eye makeup as far as I remember but I really want to see how this palette works for a summer look I also have realized that uh, for last two three months I was just totally on nude and neutral uh, makeup I was using more of my neutral palettes and more of the brown shades so today I want to do something different I want to come out of my comfort zone and do something something different colors in this eyeshadow palette are so amazing every single color is just gorgeous i feel like all those shades here there's so much uh, like my type something that i'm comfortable using actually for brown and tan skin i think this palette is just wonderful so now i want to start my today's eye makeup i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do but i want to do a little bit hello kind of eye um, let's see how that turns out so I have already prepared my eyes I have used uh, some concealer and also powdered them and now they're ready for the eyeshadow so first we're taking the shade ginger applying that on my lids So I'm applying ginger with my Sigma E35 brush to my entire crease area. I'm taking my Sigma pencil brush E30 and I'll be taking the shade Edges which is a terracotta color and I'm applying that just below ginger. It's a little bit um more darker than the ginger so my crease will be more defined these shades are highly pigmented now in my uh, sigma blending e25 brush i'm taking the shade pinker and i'll be applying that in the outer corner i'm applying more pinker to my inner corner so we can use the shade credit here which is the darkest brown and I want to use this very outer corner let's give that you know that uh, foxy eye effect here so just I want to put this shade to just exactly in the lash line and just go a little bit upper I just want to make it a little bit upright so I can just do like this with this pencil brush and you know that line is creating these eyeshadows are so pigmented so it's very easy to work with them now I just want to blend this line. I don't want it to look like a very separate line. I just want to blend it. I think I need to take some more ginger and then blend it here. So I have taken a little more ginger to blend it. And I'm really really sweating. It's so hot in Toronto. It's 30 two degrees today it's it's really 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 hot so 
So now oh my, my crease and upper part of the eyeshadow is pretty much done and now in the center I want to use something very light so here there are several shades I can see Soleil, Zam, Dwellos, uh, Lituation all are these my favorite color and not sure which one will be the best let's see um maybe if we can swatch them we can get a better idea of which shade um, will be more appropriate with this eye look let's do the swatches and now i feel like dwellers dwellers okay let's see i think that bright gold color will be very much nice and popping and will help me to achieve that yellow look let's see so for that i want to use my finger and apply that right at the center Ooh, wow that's pretty oh so this is actually really pretty i wanted to blend it okay yeah it's nice I think this is exactly the shade I wanted to achieve. It's gold, but it has that green vibe. I think it's a greenish gold. I don't know if I if that makes any sense, but to me it has some green vibe in there which I like. I think I could totally um, use um, a concealer at the center to uh, to bring that effect more intense but I feel like these shades are so you know uh, pigmented I don't really need uh, to add some concealer to lighten up the center area it's already popping so bright now I just want to use a brush and uh make the edges look a little bit better so that they look a little more blended now to um blend this uh harsh areas i just want to use supreme and blend that those edges i think supreme is a really nice transition color when you want to blend that gold and uh, purple shade so it's a nice one look at that so all those harshness are just blending beautifully okay so um now i think i want to work a little more on my lower lash line and then we will see if we want to do something more on the upper lids so now I want to use this shade Big Wig really bad. This Big Wig looks so pretty. I want to use that in my lower lash line. Let's see how that works. Okay, so Big Wig in my lower lash line. I want to add some credit because we have applied credit in the upper lash line i want to use some credit also in the bottom lash line okay now i feel like my lower lash line is still incomplete i want to use some more credit no i want to use some more edges edges in my entire lower lash everything is looking kind of blended all together i don't know how it's turning out I don't really know how it's turning out but 
I'm happy I'm using all the shades. <laughs> I actually want to kind of use all the shades in this palette. I'm enjoying so much all these colors. Uh, I don't know. Please comment something good. Don't say it's looking very ugly. I think I can make it better at the end. I don't know how you are feeling, but I think it's going to be good at the end. Right now, it's looking kind of messy and. I'm kind of feeling like I have messed up but I'm still happy that I am able to use all the colors here um, okay uh, let me know in the comment section below um, if you like it if you hate it if you think I could do much better let's see uh, but please wait till the end I think it's gonna be at least better than this <laughs> Okay, now um, my eyeshadow is pretty much done. Uh, let's do the mascaras, eyeliner, false lashes and see how it looks at the end. So now I have done my mascara, my eyelashes and also my, the liquid liner. For eyeliner, I have used the H liquid liner. It's very much matte, it's black, it's the blackest black and it's very easy to use. Uh, also, it uh, works really nicely over any kind of eyeshadow, glitters or anything. So I really, really like it, especially when I'm doing uh, kind of heavy makeup. This eyeliner is something that you really, really need. For mascara, I have used this uh, Maybelline uh, Lash Sensational Mascara which I use almost all the time. It is one of my favorite, easy to remove and easy to apply, makes my lashes look longer and nicer. So uh, okay, still now I feel like something is missing and I feel like my inner corner highlighter is missing yeah i totally forgot that uh, how much i wanted to use this shade called trust issues and i actually had a plan that whatever i look i do i will be using trust issues as my inner corner highlighter which i don't know how i totally forgot so let's do that and wow I love this shade see how it makes a big big difference how beautiful this highlighter shade is My makeup is done and I'm really happy how it turned out and now let's change my lipstick and then we will see how the final look turns out I think with this eye look I want to go a uh, kind of a mauve shade for my lips and this one um, by Fenty Beauty this lip paint I think this is going to be nice and I'm using my uh, favorite MAC lip liner in the shade In Control. It's kind of broken and I'm going to use this part because I really, really love this lip pencil. And it's not broken. I need to buy a new one. So that's the final look. This is how it turned out. I'm really loving my final eye makeup look. I think everything is blended really nicely. I don't know if it's the perfect halo makeup, but I'm really loving that dreamy kind of mauve uh, eye look. I think it's pretty and I think it's so much 
summer inspired i'm getting that summer vibe now i don't know you have to tell me if you really like this makeup how this turned out you liked it or not and if you're going to recreate this kind of eye makeup look don't forget to tag me in your photos on instagram also if you have a youtube channel you want me to check your makeup looks i will be very very happy comment down below your channel name i will be happy to check that after wearing neutrals browns and all those you know um, nude shades for a really long time i'm feeling really really happy and i think this eyeshadow look is full of life it's giving me that you know that happiness i don't know how to explain that i don't know if you think this makeup is really nice do let me know in the comment section below and if you also don't like it tell me i would love to have all those criticism feedback and beautiful comments everything is highly appreciated do let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more uh, makeup videos i think i want to do some more summer inspired look let's see I really really want to know if you are also using your Jackie Ina ABH palette in this summertime how much you're loving it do let me know everything so I'm going to wrap up this video here today I hope you really enjoyed it have a beautiful summer and see you next time bye